And you do use some steel? And in this case, yes. This building's being built to code, and there's no codes yet for most of these techniques. So to do the engineering for this building, we basically had to just pretend that the earth walls weren't there. So the way the building codes work, anything that deviates very much from really standard building practices usually requires an engineer. But the engineers are really constrained in what data they've got available. Because our engineer didn't have the data that he needed, to be able to plug into his formulas to basically to demonstrate that the cob was able to do some of the work in the structure, which of course it is. We know that from historical buildings, but the testing hasn't been done to come up with numbers, which is what engineers need to demonstrate the safety of the structure. So I've never used this before. This was an innovation that our engineer recommended. In order to get permit or right. something. It is possible to get permits for all of these building systems. It's considerably more difficult than to get permits for conventional structures in some places and in some cases. For example, straw bale now is pretty easy in California. California has a state straw bale code. So as long as you're within that code, you can fairly easily get a permit in most jurisdictions in California. The problem is, or one of the problems is, that the code was written 10 to 15 years ago, and we've since then developed much better systems for building with straw bale. But because the code is this legal entity which was frozen at a certain period of time, it's now much more difficult to do the better building practices that have developed in the last 10 years. There are adobe codes in many places as well. One way to get a permit for a cob structure is to just use the adobe code. And cob and adobe are similar enough materials that in many instances you could build a cob structure that met the adobe code. One of the problems is that many of the codes, most of the codes, require the use of industrial materials like cement or asphalt emulsion in the case of adobe which really is totally unnecessary. It's if, you, if you're designing and building your structure well, there are only a very few parts of the building that are gonna get very wet. But Adobe code requires that you add cement or, or asphalt emulsion to every single block in the whole house. And you have to add enough that you can actually soak that block in water overnight and have it still be strong the next day. So they're, they're making you build something that assumes that your whole building's going to end up completely underwater overnight. We did work with our engineer to minimize the amount of plywood as much as possible, but this plywood is a sheer wall inside the structure. It's doing the same job that these metal uh, hardy frames are doing in the exterior. And that's largely because the engineering research has not yet been done on systems like Cobb and light straw clay and slip and chip. So the engineer really just has nothing to work with. So they have to fall back on things that they know, like steel and plywood. There has been a fair amount of testing done on straw bale. About 10 years ago, there was a big effort to do quite a lot of earthquake and other kinds of code testing on straw bale. That research was funded by the California Rice Growing Association. And the reason they were interested in getting behind it was that clean air legislation had been passed in California saying that they could no longer burn rice straw in the fields. So the rice growers had a very, very strong economic incentive to support the development of straw bale buildings so that they'd have a market for their straw bales, which is great. But in the absence of that, you know, there's, no, there's nobody trying to sell dirt. There's no, there's no industry out there pushing the sale of, of clay soil or stones or natural sticks or wood chips. So the question becomes, who's going to get behind and really fund the very expensive research that needs to happen to make these things more accessible to people wanting to build to code?